Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. So because of popular questions and requests, Crawlomatic was once again updated and it is able now to scrape product variations. So you guys kept asking me, hey, does Crawlomatic also scrape product variations? And yeah, I was kind of hesitant because it was not having this functionality until now, but today I added this feature because I want to keep you guys happy with the features of the plugin and if you keep me asking keep asking me about this feature here it is it's added to the plugin so let's check it I have here a list of Shopify and WooCommerce stores I found them on the internet they are not so special they are some uh, more popular Shopify and WooCommerce stores so let me delete the posts from here because I already imported some products here to test the plugin's new functionality. So in the latest update of Crawlomatic version 251, you will find in the settings here down below, try to scrape product variations. And this will work currently for Shopify and WooCommerce store scraping. So if you scrape WooCommerce or Shopify uh, stores, you will be able to import also product variations. So let's check products here. No products should be listed now on this page because I deleted them all here. And let's try to re-import them. So here are the products, no products. Okay, now let's re-import them one by one. So first let's go and check the, the kitty. This the Echo Kitty Recycle Cardboard Playhouse. And they have this variation where they add five pounds to customize the house. And if we import the product here, all we have to do is set the try to scrape product variations and also set other fields that we wish to use. But if you use the default try to scrape product variation settings field, the plugin will get some basic info from the product. If you want to get extended info, you can set price query type file excerpt tags categories author content title and so on so the plugin also is set now to use puppeteer usually it was set to use puppeteer so here it uses phantom gs and because of this scraping might take a while but let's allow this to run and let's refresh products here to see that it has already imported a example product so this is the cardboard winter edition with description and it imported it as a variable product and if we click the variable variations we will see that it is creating right now the variations and if we refresh this product now we see that the green check mark appeared and variations should be yeah so here it is no thank you with ten dollars and yes please with fifteen dollars because my woocommerce store is set to dollars but i if i switch it to pounds it will be switched to the correct currency for this product okay now let's go to the coffee one so this is the department of coffee they have here some variations where they uh, you can select the type of the grind of the coffee and now let's run also scraping of this product and uh, the plugin will also create the correct variations for this new product also so running the scraping and if you want you can check also these sites they are shopify and woocommerce products so stores and they have the products on there on shopify and woocommerce so you can also make this functionality on any shopify and woocommerce store so here are the 
variations and if we click on the product and check it in on the front end we will also be able to choose the variation and the SKU will be changing because these are different product variations okay now let's go to disrupt disrupt disruptive yamf i hope i did not kill the name of this store so let me found this find this one oh, so this is not open let's open it so here it is it should be oh so yeah uh let's run also scraping for this because this is a swimming suit and uh, the swimming suit will be scraped right now so here it is it's a rocky bottoms it has a nice name and if we check the variations it has the sizes only small and large as variations now let's go to this product here from sogaya.com it's a suitcase i guess for toothbrushes and stuff let's run importing for it also and the plugin will bring its variations in which are the colors of the product here so as you can see if you click the variation here the photo is not changing so you can do it better than they do it and if you go to products and check the product here so this is the one which is imported and let's go to the front page of the site so you will see that in WooCommerce when you click the product actually the image will change and this is much more pleasant experience for users than on the original site where the image is static and they the users select the variants and yeah they don't switch also images okay so now let's go to our last site here and last online shop the florist oh so yeah i should be scraping also this ba uh, this bone uh bone in ribeye steak but now let's go to florist which is where let's open it up this is a flower organic sifted red five flower and we can scrape this also so after scraping this flower we will be importing it also to our site so let's go back to products and the green check mark appeared when the products are listed and refreshed because if you go back you will see the old results so here it is the flower that we scraped is also imported and this one has variable pricing because the product variants will change the size of the packaging so you can select two kilos or five kilos and the two kilos is 17 dollars and the five kilos is 40 dollars so yeah also additional information is imported now um, let's check also this rib eye steak here so let's duplicate the rule from here to create the same product so all you have to do is also set the generated post type to product and install woocommerce and let's replace this link with the ribeye steak and let's run scraping i hope that the check box is checked yeah the try to scrape product variations is checked and scraping is running and if we go to products after it is finished now we should be seeing yeah here it is the ribeye steaks and also the pricing is variable because the 
variants are scrapes. So let's go and check the product here on the front end of the site. So, and the quality of the steak will be variable here. Okay. So yeah, this is the latest update for Crawlomatic. Go ahead and check it. It will, the Crawlomatic plugin is linked in this video's description. And as always, if you have other suggestions or yeah, requests, let me know in the comments of this video or by my email. I am happy to read your comments and to respond to them and also to implement your suggestions in my, com in my plugins. So yeah, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel and until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye.